What is going on guys, Joe here, and today we'll be taking a look at Keynote for iCloud. Now if you didn't check out my previous videos, I actually covered numbers and pages on separate videos. I'll leave the links down below if you want to check those out after this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out Keynote. Now I work for iCloud, basically you log into your account using iCloud.com on any of your browsers like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, or of course Safari. So here on Keynote for iCloud, we go ahead and see a presentation here. If you're not familiar with Keynote, Keynote is a PowerPoint application that you can, uh, of course, do PowerPoints. And here is a little presentation that's already made. So let's go ahead and open up this little presentation here. And we see that we can go ahead and create different slides right here on the left. You get all these little different slides here. Let's go ahead and add a slide. And uh, here I can go ahead and type in test. And right here, I can go ahead and type in, I don't know, um, Keynote for iCloud. There we go. So here, you can also even add an image. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop an image in here. Of course, it's going to be my logo here. And uh, you can change the opacity here on the right side. And also, all this stuff for the image. But let's go ahead and see what we can change here on the actual um, PowerPoint here. So we go ahead and check here on the right side. We have a slide transition uh, little column here where you can change the effect. So this will change the effect going from slide one to slide two. And also you can change the direction here and the duration and advanced slide on click or just auto uh, go to the next slide. But I don't believe you can actually change the background. And that's something uh, I've kind of just started messing with this not too long ago and I wanted to give you guys a video but uh, up, looking up here, we have text. You can add different text on here. You can drag it anywhere. Let's go ahead and delete that real quick. We can add a shape or an image. But as you saw right now, I actually just dragged and dropped an image from my desktop, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and play this real quick. And you do see, let me go ahead and start this over. Start off for the first one here. So we'll go ahead and hit play. And there's these naked dudes that I don't know what that is. But uh, <laughs> here's the second slide right here. And then you see that little transition it did that we've added. Uh, we added the little blinds effect transition on there. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, it's a very simple way to create a PowerPoint straight from your internet browser, um, like Safari, Internet Explorer, or even on Google Chrome. But there's also ways to share this document. If you want to go ahead and share it, uh, you can send it via iCloud Mail. So you can send this as a keynote document or PDF or even a PowerPoint. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you still haven't checked out my other videos covering pages and also numbers for iCloud, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave the links down below. But I want to give you a quick little overview of keynote for iCloud let you know what you can do on it also another thing is you can go ahead and drag and drop a, a PowerPoint uh, file onto here by simply just dragging and dropping from your desktop or anything like that so I think that is pretty cool but anyways that's gonna do it for a quick little overview on Kino for iCloud let me know what you think in the comment section below now I do believe this is available to everybody right now because I'm not even a developer for Mac OS 10 so I recently got this I got an email and I was able to simply log into iCloud.com and it showed up with the beta versions of iWork for iCloud. But anyways, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Have you tried it out or what do you think about keynote numbers and pages on iCloud? But uh, anyways, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you still haven't followed me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, links will be all down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Peace!